All right, we'll close out with this one. This is the last thing we're going to hit today. And, of course, it was the 20th anniversary of 9-11 on Saturday, and Air Force whipped Navy. Just yeah. whipped them. 23-3. to three. Navy had 34 carries for 36 yards. That's 1.1 per attempt. They threw the ball 10 times, completed three passes for 32 yards. Navy is a dumpster fire at this point. And of course, you don't want to say that the day after, you know, the anniversary, but they they did go ahead and fire their longtime offensive coordinator Irvin Jasper this morning. Or I guess it was late last night, like after the game. And who, I mean, you got to put up a a bad performance when you've been there for that long with Ken Neomatalola, which by the way, Ken has been there for so long and he was so successful been there for a while. And yep. And is it possible that uh, we've heard of guys overstaying their welcome many times. Never would have figured it would happen at a service academy, but I don't know what you do if you're Navy at this at this point because Ken has proven that he's a good coach in the past, but, man, they are, like, Navy is bad. I, you want to talk good things about Air Force, uh, but Air Force, you know, 59 carries, 176 yards, three touchdowns, or three, uh, three yards per carry and three touchdowns they only threw the ball for 49 yards like it, we would want to talk good about air force if every team navy didn't play did this to them yes. that's the thing if navy played really well in a couple of games and then got drummed by air force then we'd have good things to say about air force yeah. but the problem is this is a broken damn record every week with navy man this was by the way uh total yards Air Force had 225, Navy 68 total yards for the game. Navy was 1 of 12 on third down and 0 of 2 on fourth down. God, dog. I mean, it, it was domination. And, and this is one of those games where if I'd been watching it, I would have been really happy because I bet this thing was over in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it was done in two no, hours. No, you can make a dinner reservation off these two teams. Oh, most certainly. So, yeah, I, I, I like Air Force. I think Air Force is going to be pretty good this year. But I do, too. But it, there's here's, not here's much the to problem: say. they're stuck in a conference that's pretty damn good. We think. Yeah, the Mountain West is is going to be a lot of fun. The, Ma- the Mountain West is they got is some not teams. one of these punk ass G five conferences anymore. They're they're getting a lot better. I think San Diego State's better, Fresno's better, San Jose's better. Boise still looks really good. Like that that is, I'm sure I'm leaving somebody out. That that's a good conference, man. Yes, yes, indeed they are. Wyoming, by the way. Really good. Wyoming's good. Yeah. No, really I'm going to say, is Nevada there? Yeah, Nevada's there. Yeah. Holy shit. I left Nevada out. I think Nevada's really good. No, yes. I knew I was going to leave some people out. No. Uh, Ghost that's Dog a said, really good conference. Ghost Dog said maybe Navy should stick with the option. This is That's what cost them this game. Like, not cost them the game, but that's that's what this was. Like, this is the option. Like, I don't I don't know how you win there. I don't. I really don't. I don't either. I mean, it, Jeff Munkin came in and completely flipped these service academies on their head. Like he mm-hmm. he has really changed the game for Army and because Army Army got a win by the way I didn't have this on my list but Army got a win over Western Kentucky thirty eight thirty five so I got the, I got the cover with the with the mountain or the uh, the mountain the hilltoppers but when Army's putting up thirty eight points on on explosive football teams whoo baby 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 thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast the website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.